va vous demander d'évacuer ici. Merci beaucoup. Donc c'est un pire, tu prouves une fois. So you saw what happened there, folks. It's happened in Paris, France, at the Louvre. Just stop oil protesters. These stupid, idiotic, moronic retards somehow were able to smuggle in some soup cans or whatever and throw it onto the Mona Lisa here. I just want to go and show you how what the the French, I guess I don't know what they were, security guards, whoever they were. Did you see what they were doing? They were doing a whole bunch of good. Let's just go ahead and I'm going to voice over this thing here. This is just absolutely ridiculous as this is happening, you know, around the world, especially in countries like, you know, France. The gay Perry. I mean, what do we need? Jack, Inspector Clearsell, to come in and salve the decals? Is that a good French accent or what? Anyways, let's continue here. So somehow, it was a plus de carton. Oh, you're going to have some more in soup to drink tonight. No, we're not going to have it. That can of soup was really bad. Yeah, it was a bad can of soup. <laughs> I don't want to buy any more cans of soup that are that bad. I pledge allegiance. And here are these security, what are they doing? They're putting these barricades up to try to stop people from seeing all these guys are doing. They're just moving around. If that had been me, if I was one of the security officers somewhere over there, I would have been back there so fast. Those people would have been face planted so quickly on the ground, handcuffs behind them, and we would have taken them someplace. You know what, folks? We would have taken them to a separate room so they couldn't continue to gather this type of coverage that's out there. But that's just, that's just me, little old me. Keep moving, keep moving, you know, keep moving. Keep moving the barricades, you know. We need to move the barricades in front of these uh, two girls, you know. Because if, they, if we cannot keep these barricades in front of these girls, you know, then they won't be able to take no more pictures, you know. I mean, the French sometimes. Oh, my God. Get back there. Start cleaning up. Now, the painting was not obvious ruined. Anyways, let's go to one of the um, reports of what happened there, and we'll fill in some of the blanks. We'll put some more meat on the bones, so to speak. So let's get to that right now. So it seems like the French have their young generation of stupid, idiotic, moronic retards. And here, as you see, a still picture of them throwing the soup on the Mona Lisa, the French... Hey, at least they were smart enough, right? There's a lot of things that the French do that you look at it and just absolutely perplexed and you go, how stupid was that? Or how stupid is that policy? Well, one thing that they wised up to is they started putting their paintings, I mean, the Mona Lisa. I don't even know what type of a price tag you would put on that. Right? Thank God they protected it with this uh, plexiglass. Uh, so hopefully unbreakable, because remember we saw something else previously where people went in, they somehow smuggled a hammer in there, started hammering away and chiseling away at a picture that had a plexiglass, you know, cover to it as well. But this is what's going on, folks. This is what's happening. Two climate activists threw soup at the face of Leonardo da Vinci's famous Mona Lisa. Sunday, Sunday morning, and what did they want? What was their demands? I mean, you would have thought that something just, I mean, you would have just thought that the demands, I mean, there's something that's got to be out there that would 
cause you to do this. I mean, just something so unbelievable, monstrous. I mean, just, you know, it would, it just, what? What was it? What was it that caused them to do this? They were demanding that the government promote the right to healthy and sustainable food. Can you believe that, folks? That's what this was all about. It was for purpose of a political stunt. You freaking think? Two members of Repost Alimentaire or Reposte Alimentaire. Food response. <laughs> There's a group out there called Food Response? Really? Food response. You know, I thought Just Stop Oil was stupid and moronic and retarded. But this is food response. They snuck cans of not just any soup, folks. No, no, not cream of chicken or cream of mushroom or good old chicken noodle soup. No, no. Or beef barley with vegetables. No, no. This was butternut squash. I wonder why they picked butternut squash. They took it into the Lille in Yeperoy and they hurled them onto the most famous painting in the world. Fortunately, they said, the Mona Lisa painting was covered with armored glass and therefore was apparently not damaged by the political stunt. Now, these green activists, these food preservers, these food mercenaries, what did they say? It was meant to kick off a campaign of civil resistance which carries a clean demand, a clear demand, beneficial to all. Social security for sustainable food. That's right, folks. Pitch into your local social security and you'll have sustainable food for life. That's what this is all about. What's more important? What's more important? Here's the question, folks. What's more important? Art or the right to healthy and sustainable food? Let me think of that one, folks, a little bit. How about this? How about having right to healthy and sustainable food and enjoy eating it while enjoy a beautiful painting at the same time? Look, I like my soup, too. I just don't like it in a bowl of Mona Lisa, if you catch my drift. And they were saying the agricultural system is sick. The farmers are sick. A woman shouted after throwing the soup. <laughs> this is just unbelievable. Now it says, following the incident, the museum was evacuated. A cleaning crew was dispatched to the Salle de Alstaz room in which the painting is housed. Now, it says that the fame painting from Da Vinci has been forced to be beyond protective glass in 2005 after previous attempts at vandalism. Last year, for example, oh, get this, folks. Last year, a man dressed as an old lady. That's right. I'm Jacques Lucel of the Serre. And I have salvated the curse. There was a man dressed as an old lady in a wheelchair through a cream pie. <laughs> oh, you know, the old pie in the Mania Lisa Fest ploy. <laughs> threw, threw a cream pie at the painting while shouting, there are people who are destroying the earth. All artists think of the earth. That's why I did this. Think about the planet. Okay. And you just uh, threw a cream pie. I mean, you know, somebody could, you know what? There was a, there's somebody hungry out there that would have enjoyed a luscious cream pie. But no. But no, you had to throw that cream pie at the Mona Lisa instead, shouting that artists only think of the earth. I think about the planet. It goes on to say here that famous artworks across Europe, exactly, they become the target of these climate eco-terrorists. They call them climate activists. They're not activists. These are climate terrorists. Just stop oil. Did with the painting about the Dutch art artist Vincent van Gogh's sunflowers at the National Gallery in London just a year ago. 
two activists from the same green group smuggled in hammers. And I was talking about this before. The National Gallery, they began smashing the glass surrounding the Rokeby, the Rokeby Venus painting by the 17th century Spanish painter Diego Velazquez. I mean, this is just unbelievable. It just goes on and on and on. This has just got this. And they're talking about, remember when they glued their, they, one oil extremist, they said they glued their head. They glued their head to a, a girl with a pearl and an earring painting. <laughs> this is just incredible, folks. And it's going to continue. And it won't stop. Unless the authorities, you know what those people got with the hammer and the other ones? I think they, they paid 500 pounds each. Folks, $500 for the damage that was done to a multi-million dollar, let's call it nearly priceless piece of art, treasure. That's all. Now you tell me, how quickly do you think that it took them to come up with $500 to post bond or bill, pay the fine, whatever, go home laughing out of both sides of their mouths saying, can you believe what we just did? We did it. We made national news. We're on social media. We're getting our message across. Let's do it again because it's only going to cost us $500 each. And then other people from other eco-terrorist groups decide to do the same damn thing. These people need to know, and laws and policies, and that's because the politicians over there, they're just cowards. They're sticking their heads up their arses. They don't, you know, they don't have the guts, the decency to protect this for the, for the viewing public. No, they have their heads up their collective asses, I said before. They don't want to be known as, oh, we made a law that really did set some teeth into it. Like perhaps saying, the first time you do this, it's going to be jail sentence time of five years. I'd start off with 10. First offense is 10. Second offense is 20. Third offense, you're in jail for the rest of your life. Yeah, that's right, I said it. For what, Nasser? For throwing some squ butternut squash? Soup on a painting? You're going to put somebody away for life? Well, not the first time I won't. It's only 10 years. Well, we can talk about that number. But there's going to be a three strikes you're out rule. Absolutely. Well, that's my rant for today. Boy, did these guys get me started. I could have gone on for another hour, folks. Anyways, we appreciate you taking the time to watch. You've been watching the Dr. Nasser Shake Show. I'm your host. My name is Dr. Nasser. If you haven't done so already, we'd love for you to subscribe to the channel. If you liked our content, let us know in the comments below. What do you think? What do you think should happen to these people? First time, second time, third time offense. Let us know in the comments below. Check out our other video links here and down here. My final thought as always, when you're right, you're right. I'm so right on this. When you're left, you're just wrong. Until next time, folks, take care and stay safe.